emerging from the ashes of the great 1864 Brisbane fires. Slowly, the modern metropolis emerged to what it is today. G'day. It's been really windy all week. And the weather. It's been a challenge, I won't lie to you. This Twisted Visions winter episode I'm sure has more than myself with the brain rattling around how I'm going to present it. Let's roll the promo and I'll show you what I mean. Hey everybody, welcome to the Twisted Visions Winter Challenge. This time we've got a bunch of local YouTubers. We've got 10 days to make a 10 minute video at a topic chosen at random from ones provided by the very YouTubers that are making this. It's going to be fun. This time we've got Liam from the Ibis Channel 32. We've got the awesome Adam from the Brisbane Channel. We've got the amazing Rebecca from Love Life and Travel. And Nikki, the walking talking Aussie girl. The amazing Gizmo from Gizmo's Bush Escapes. Roxy from Sacred Grounds. The one and only Steve Mack from uh -huh. Steve Mack Australia. And of course, Rob from Walkabout with Rob. He's his fallen off a log. And me, T-Rox. And the chosen topic is... What's something Brizzy lacks compared to other cities? Oh, I can feel my brain tingling already. So, Saturday, the 27th of July, 5.30pm, all the YouTubers will have their videos up on their sites. And I'm just so looking forward to it. Let, Let the, the challenge, challenge begin. begin. So, what's missing from Brisbane that other cities have? So the topic doesn't actually specify is this comparing Brisbane to all of the cities around the world? I'll take the liberty of assuming it's within Australia. Let me give you an analogy. So basically, a rolling stone gathers no moss more or less means things can change in the future for better or worse but we have to base it on right now and that's what I'm going to talk about I guess it would be a bit of a cop-out to say Brisbane has everything so what does Brisbane lack compared to other cities in Australia and now I'd like to show you the entrance to Brisbane's world-class underground subway system that links all areas of Brisbane to each other. But there's nothing here. We don't have anything. Brisbane could do with a lot more public toilets as well. If you can find one, you're lucky. Because a lot of times, even at service stations, when you pull up in your car, they won't let you use their toilets. And that can be a big issue. Had this question been asked, say, 30 years ago, when I lived in Canberra for a year, I could have easily answered it. The first thing I noticed when I moved down there is they had outdoor cafes and even fires going at night time. Well, of course, fast forward now, and we have outdoor cafes. But at the time, it wasn't something that really featured in Brisbane. I guess the point could be, don't dwell on your shortcomings, play to your strengths. And generally speaking, Brisbane has a nice climate. When it's not rainy, windy, or hailing, Or suffering floods. Oh, 
Every city has their own icons. I think I hear the sounds and Brisbane has her own too. People talking, the scenes recalled by minute movement. And they're okay. Sydney Harbour has their beautiful ferries. On the backing tape, that certain texture, that certain smell. But we have our own ferries in Brisbane as well. It's okay. And of course we have the lovely Moreton Bay in our favour. In a room of silent hearted flakes That sudden texture, that sudden smell That brings home the heavy days brings It's okay. The nighttime swear Out on the patio we'd sit And the humidity we'd breathe Other cities have trams and similar transport Brisbane used to have trams as I previously covered But no more Like most cities, we have our own sports stadiums and venues. It's okay. And yes, Melbourne and Sydney have a greater financial district, but with the internet, the gap is really quite small. Of course, Brisbane isn't alone with the housing crisis, although it is very bad. And this is mostly due to the lack of affordable rents. Too many people, not enough accommodation. Brisbane does have a pretty good system of roads and tunnels. Use speed and observe all signs. Increase the distance to the vehicle ahead and listen to your radio. Thank you for your cooperation. But of course, like any big city, we do suffer from traffic congestion. Also in my area, there aren't that many buses and certainly no trains. So essentially, if you live very far from the CBD, you kind of need your own transport. Where I live on the outskirts of Brisbane, there isn't much public transport that's readily available. I did a project for Uber last year in which you had to not use your own vehicle for a month or six weeks. So I used Uber in the form of your traditional car type call an Uber. Not many people wanted to come to this side of town because there isn't really an easy access straight through from anywhere else. Well, the Uber was half an hour late because the first one got cancelled and I uh, didn't get dropped outside where I need to be. Basically, he didn't want to go around the block another few kilometres, so I'm not too impressed with that. So I'm here anyway. Late from my meeting. Anyway, so all right. First problem, really, not with the drive. I mean, he was a nice guy, but it was the fact that it was effectively 30 minutes before I could leave home, and I had this meeting set for a specific time. Uh, first Uber was cancelled. After about 10 minutes, they said it's not available. Rebook. So. And it was another 20 minutes anyway so i guess that's the benefit that i could have had if i used my own car versus using another alternative because i would have left home at a specific time and hopefully got here at the right time uber also has a an option where you can what i call rent a car okay well that, that wasn't too bad i made it um yeah it was quite good actually once i found it where the keys were hidden for a day or so. So I did that to get around. But trust me, I'm ready to grab the steering wheel as you can hopefully see. I want to just see if it takes this corner. Yeah, it is. Look. Wow. <laughs> okay. That is weird. They also supplied me indirectly with an e bike. It's pretty hilly where I live, so I didn't really use that. Oh. Oh, my hemorrhoids. Oh. Oh. Oh.
nasty. So basically, in my case at least, you really have to use your own transport around here. There's no trains or anything like that either. So what we lack in Brisbane, we more or less offset by the fact we have less condensed areas outside of the CBD. I guess there is a downside as far as international flights. They used to be here in Brisbane years and years ago, but some of them no longer fly directly. So occasionally, depending on where you're going, you now may have to go to Sydney, for example, before you can catch the flight somewhere else. The first time I travelled to Thailand about 30 years ago was on a British Airways jumbo jet. British Airways, for, for one example, stopped flying out of Brisbane many years ago now. Partially because it wasn't economically viable. And the other factor is many airlines, including British Airways, co-share with Qantas. And as for pollution, well, I think Brisbane's one of the lowest cities to have pollution. I remember once when I lived in Canberra, driving up towards Sydney, Jarvis Bay, and from the mountain we could see in the Sydney direction all this brown haze of pollution. I've never forgotten that and I've never seen it in Brisbane. So try as I might, I can't really pin down one particular thing that Brisbane severely lacks. It, it may have its shortcomings, but I still like it. By the way, in case you're ever wondering what this QR code is here, that's where you can buy me a coffee if you choose, or other people that have buy me a coffee links as well. Now you may be watching on your phone, in which case how do you scan a QR code that's on a video? That's why I have a direct link that you can buy me a coffee. Not that you can really buy a coffee for five dollars these days. I also have that in the link and usually pinned to the comment section. As well as that, I have a direct secure PayPal link if you feel like buying me a coffee or two. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. What we lack in Brisbane. No. Oh. Oh. What we lack in Brisbane, we more or less offset by something. Oh. Take three. So what we lack in Brisbane, we more or less offset forgotten again. So if you haven't seen my previous entry for Twisted Visions, you can find that here. And also if you'd like to see my dark history of Mount Kutha, you can find that here. Cheers.